Innovation in Motion on Transportation TV. Long before a community sees this kind of activity at a highway construction site, a lot of work has already been done to plan, design, and ensure that the environment is protected and the public is informed. There is no more important project to the area's commuters and workers than the South Mountain Freeway Project. The planning and design process for highway construction projects includes public education and input. Meetings like these, held in 2013 by the Arizona Department of Transportation, demonstrate citizen involvement in the process. People literally get up close and personal with a proposed construction project. Traditionally, aerial maps are used to show residents how a project will impact their community. It's an important process that today is being taken to the next level through virtual reality. Virtual reality really helps to immerse people uh, differently. So if you show them a map on a the wall, they're going to look at the wall and be lose interest pretty quick. But as soon as you teleport them essentially to a new environment and you've got audio hooking them in, it's a, it's a whole different presence. It brings in a new world and you really can't get distracted by your phone, you can't get distracted by the people walking around. You're in, a, you're in an entirely new place that's going to pull you in and suck you in and whatever we want to show them, it's going to be right in front of them. Peter Carlson is a member of a team of experts from Iowa State University and the Iowa State Department of Transportation. This collaboration formed to help do public engagement and education for the I-74 Mississippi River Bridge Replacement Project, now under construction in the Quad Cities area. We caught up with the team in January 2018, demonstrating their virtual reality headset at a booth at the Transportation Research Board meeting in Washington, D.C. We actually developed some of the 3D content in-house. Uh, some of it was done by Benish, who was the designer of the new structure. And then those were given over to the personnel at uh, VRAC, the Virtual Reality Application Center, and they get it into the uh, correct formats, add the programming involved in virtual reality as far as the interaction with the muscles, the menu. Um, so for a little under $50,000, we have a wonderful 3D, fully immersive experience that we can provide out to the stakeholders and public in general. When you've got the virtual reality headset on, it's not like watching TV. It's like you're there in the environment. Not only do you see what's around you, you hear it too. Turn your head in any direction and your view changes just like it does in real life. There's a controller that can switch your location. Select car view and you're automatically in the driver's seat of a vehicle traveling over the bridge. Turn your head to the right and you can see the existing bridge in the distance. All of the dimensions are based on actual sizes, so it's as real as it can be. It felt like I was there, like I was on top of that bridge. It was really a cool experience because you could see all of the details, the structural details of the bridge, but you also felt like almost emotional about it. It's a, it's a very different experience than uh, something that we're used to. This program also allows the public to travel beneath the bridge and under the water to learn about the muscle population that state officials relocated before construction began. Part of the mitigation for the environmental impacts was some education and outreach about muscles. So that was partly why we included them in this, so that people would realize people don't really think that there's anything on the bottom of the Mississippi River other than mud, and there's a lot of things down there. Iowa DOT is taking this technology to libraries in the Quad Cities region. Visit the I-74 Bridge Project website to find out where you can take part in what Iowa DOT is calling the virtual reality experience. Using technology to immerse residents into new environments, to educate and demonstrate a transportation project in ways that have never been achieved before. Iowa DOT, putting innovation in motion.